Jobert today went backstage of the ballet rehearsal La Traviata to speak to prima ballerina Bernice Silvius one last time before she hangs up her ballet slippers for life off the stage. I'm retiring because I have to listen to my body. Especially because I'm prima ballerina, you have to finish when you're still at the top of your game. You don't want to finish when people say, oh, she should have stopped dancing a year ago. She's just not, just not there anymore. So my body is getting sore and I still want to lead an active life when I'm done with dancing. And ballet really is so strenuous on your body. So it's just, it's time. She also shared with us some of the highlights of her career, the role she'll be playing in La Traviata and the future plans. Some of the highlights of my career was the very first principal role I ever did, which was Giselle. It's a ballet that's very close to my heart and I'm actually really sad because last year we did the ballet and I had a foot injury that actually took me out of it. So then I decided to just keep working hard to get back from the injury. And I'm actually glad I did because La Traviata is such a beautiful ballet. It really is. It's, the music is exquisite. Um, Veronica Paper's choreography is beautiful, especially her pas de deux. They're hard, but they're very beautiful. And very, it's a very emotional ballet. You go through so many different emotions. She falls in love. She has to give up her love. She's actually really very sick. And at the end of the ballet, you die. But I am going to take a little bit of time to just do stuff I never have time for. Go for cooking courses. I don't know, just spend time with my family and my friends and go on holidays and not worry about what I have to eat and I have to get back into a leotard when I get back. To her adoring fans, Bernice had this to say. I'd like to say thank you so much for all the support over the years. I hope I've touched every single one of you. If I have, if you've come to watch a performance and you left and you felt something, I feel like I've achieved something and I've left like a legacy behind. So thank you again for all the support.